Britain's public spaces need help. Last year, the government slashed the council services budget by £4 billion, and leisure services and parks were the first to suffer. But expert cleaner Linda Dykes believes that an army of obsessive cleaners could help to bring Britain up to her own high standards. I can't believe how, how improved it is. Today, Linda's in the Peak District, on her way to the small town of Worksworth, where she hopes to clean up a community-run swimming pool. If swimming pools aren't clean, you're open to any kind of infection. I mean, bacteria, it increases by the second. It should be absolutely, spotlessly, hygienically clean. Worksworth Pool is at the heart of the community. The council originally ran it, but when they decided to close it down, local residents rallied and four months ago set up a charitable trust to keep it open. Would you like to go swimming there? No, I wouldn't want him to go near it. With a lack of funding, the pool can't afford a cleaner. And with only two full-time members of staff teaching 300 kids per week, resources are stretched. There is a huge risk that if we didn't improve the facilities, then ultimately it might fail. With the fate of the pool hanging in the balance, Linda's got her work cut out. She believes that by teaming up with volunteers obsessed by cleaning, their individual skills can be used to make a difference. 27-year-old mum of three, Hayley, was diagnosed with OCD in 2007. Every morning, I will bleach and disinfect my fridge. I love bleach because there's no bacteria or germs going to slip through that, slip through your suckers. 36-year-old Richard from Sandhurst is obsessed by the urge to clean, tidy and keep order. Order and organisation is a key part of my life. Without it, you're kind of like a ship without a sail. Messy people wind me up. Right, this is the swimming pool area, guys. Ah, oh, cute. It is it's cute. Yeah, very cute. I saw yeah. some What is that today? green over there? Mold. It is oh, mould, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. it is mould. I've got an issue with that because it's not just unsightly, but there's also health issues associated with the mould. The spores get breathed in oh. and it can cause respiratory problems, it can cause inflammation of the skin, it can cause nosebleeds. It needs a lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I walked in there as a member of the public, it would turn me off. Can we do it, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yes, can yes we, we can. can. In Worksworth, it's the day of the swimming pool clean-up. Morning. Hello. And the whole community has turned out to help Linda and the clean team. Yeah, we're going to do this? Yes, come on. Come on. Poolside, the local girls' football team make a start scrubbing the mould. While Linda and her team concentrate on the changing rooms. I want to do the bathroom myself because I want it my way, the Linda way. Bleach addict Haley is focused on tackling the deep-seated mould in the shower. We're going to get the anti back spray on there. I'll get you another bucket of water. At home, Haley is so afraid of germs that she gets through at least one bottle of bleach every single day. So we each take a tap as well. Okay. But Linda's particular trademark is making everything sparkle. The downside of working in a team of obsessive cleaners is that their methods can often clash. Um, could you use this, please, on the um, stainless steel area? Because mm -hmm. I want that sparkling, please. Okay, it will this be. will Leave help you us. scrub it first when you put this on, and okay. then if you could buff it up with a microfiber, right. have it sparkling. What? Okay. Hello. Are you doing? Well, you should have been on the job, shouldn't you? Yeah. Absolutely not. Take no notice of her. No. You should have given him this already. Linda, pipe down. No, you should have given him this already. <laughs> We're doing it my way. My way or the highway. You're on Team Hayley. I'm with you, We're Hayley. a good team. I'm with oh you. Oh, my God, okay. amazing. Let's go. <laughs> See you, Linda. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I'm going to have her in a minute. Hayley. <laughs> so, take no notice of Linda. Okay. If she tells you to do something, just say, look. Uh, I'm not doing it your way. OK. And if she says anything, then come and get me. OK. Bernardo, it's Hayley's way. It's my way. OK. My okay. way or the highway. Yeah. Awesome. Right, can I carry on cleaning now? She hasn't given them the right cleaning tools. I'm very unimpressed. I've still got this in my hand now. It's needed for those blooming stainless steel things. 
I'm actually so angry. I'm putting my thing to work and they're doing it my way. And like, Linda's coming along and she's like, no, that's not how you do it. And I'm like, it's so annoying. Why are you getting on my nerves? See, for me, it's more the germs. I know for you, you like a good shine. Whereas for me, I, I, it's not about if it's shiny or not. It's more about have you used the anti back on that and got rid of all the germs because people are going to be touching that. I need to point out that I wasn't criticising. I feel like I you was are. helping because I think you see an opportunity and you're like, I'm just going to get in there and interfere. It's really not necessary because I feel like I was using the right products. Hayley, if you were using was, the right products, Linda. I would never have interfered. Linda! Those poor lads are scrubbing away and now they've got to redo the whole thing because they haven't been using the right stuff. So you've made work harder for them now. You're not helping now, you're I interfering. Did help you. The community clean at Worksworth Pool is complete. <laughs> the pool has been under financial strain, but the local Rotary Club has said that if they're impressed, they might donate some money. Come in. My pleasure. Lovely. Rotary treasurer Tony has come to see the finished article. We'll start off in the men's. The changing rooms used to be grubby, dusty and smeary. It's all been scrubbed, cleaned, polished up. That is incredible. You've done a good job scrubbing up here. Thank you. I can't believe how clean it smells. It's lovely. As for the main pool space, the mould, rust and mucky surfaces made it look tired and unhygienic. It's not fantastic. Well, Hello. that is incredible. The clutter has gone, the shower's been polished and everything looks fresh and clean. You're to be congratulated on that. It is really lovely. The sides got retiled to get rid of all the mould and every fixture's had a real spruce up. Absolutely superb. You've done a lovely job there. Tony seems impressed, but will he recommend the Rotary Club make a donation? The community have all gathered in the newly cleaned pool to find out. Can I have everybody's attention? Thanks to Linda and her team, and thanks to everybody else that's taken part today, we can now look at this pool and see it looks a lot better than it did previously. And we've had some more good news, because the Rotary have agreed to fund further projects to help us improve the pool even more. <laughs> and the future looks bright and worse with pool. It looks so clean and inviting and, and wholesome, really, so I think we'll respond as generously as we can. Hopefully we're going to reach a point where we can employ a full-time cleaner, and the full-time cleaner has to be OCD. I must say, I'm bloody knackered, but I'm it was ready well for worth bed. it. Yeah. And thanks, Brilliant. guys, Cleating. for all your help. Well done. Well done.